You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection. Now, when you first aware the word isometric projection, the first thing you have to do is to draw your isometric axis, and that is two axes inclined at what 30 degree. So, I'll first of all, draw the vertical one. Right, then I'm going to draw the inclined one here at an angle of what 30 degree, and I also draw this at an angle of what 30 degree, also meaning when you place your C square on your T square this way, this side is 30. Then I'll turn it here also. I did this, which is also what 30. That again. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to measure the entire length, right, and the entire what, width, and the height. Now, if you look closely, the entire height here is from here to here, and that is given to be what, 45. So, I'm going to measure 45 from this point. I'm going to measure 45 from this point. It is 0, right, and this is 4. So here is what 45 right now the next thing is the entire width from here to here is given to be 70 so i'm going to measure it from this point i'll measure 70 right so I'll measure 70 from this point this is 70 here so this is my 70 from 0 to 70 right similarly from here to the other side also is also 72 they are the same so i can just easily take my compass from this point here and take it to this point here which is also given as 70 you can see that and i'll just mark the other side here that is 70 is that taken now what i will do this or you just easily measure your 70 from this point here from here and that will be your 70 you can see that now, the next thing I'm going to do is to project those points upward, right? Place my C square, my T square, and I'll project here upward this way. Then I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing here this way. You can see that? And I'm going to close it up. That again. So let me bring it down a little bit. Then I'll close it up. To this point the same way I used to get the one under here and I did this that is the same way I used to get this point here right and I'll close it up too you can see that and I'll move it to this point also move to this point also Replicate the same thing. The aim is for me to bring out a box, right? The aim is for me to what? Bring out a box. Now, this is the box that we need here. You see that? This is the box that we need. Is that the key? This is the box we need to draw out. Now, the next thing that we'll be looking at is that if you look closely, virtually almost everything here is ticking. From here to here is ticking. So I'm going to tick in from here to here. So let's just do that one after the other to make our work faster. You can see that. From here to here also, this is from here to here, also ticking. Right? Then the height also here is ticking. The height also here is also ticking. Here too is ticking. Here too is ticking. Here too is ticking.
G also is thickened. Right? G also is thickened. Now I've brought out all those four points. Now if you look at the diagram very well, discover that there's a circle in between, right? The circle is in between, and we are told that from this point to the center of 70 is what 35, what you can see here. So the next thing I'll do is to get my what? My center line. And there are easy way and efficient way in order to get your center line of a figure. Just take your rule, right? And you get, you draw diagonals. This is a diagonal here. Ah, diagonal. This is another diagonal here. Automatically, this is the center of this figure, right? So what I will just simply do here is to take my C square, right, and pass a line through the center, but your C square must be on your T square. So when I pass it this way, so it means that from here I have this this way. You can see that? And from here also I have this this way to the center. So what I'm trying to teach you is that for you to get the center of any plane figure, you need to draw the diagonals. Two diagonals will give you the center of that plane figure. Now this is what we have here. We want to draw that circle. So what we'll do is we're given the diameter of the circle there. You can see we're given to be what? 50, right? So I am going to measure 50 on my meter rule. So from 0 right to 25 so i'll measure 25 half of 50 is what we have here right is what we have here half of 50 this way that's 25 here you can see that and i'll place it at the center point here then i'm going to mark upward right i'll mark this point here and also, I'm going to mark here, and also I'll mark here. You can see that? So I've got in those four points that I need, which is this point, this point, this point, and this point. We draw to what? 25. And this is I'm using 25 because the diameter is given to be what? 25. Now, I'll now take my um, C square, place it on my T square, right? And I'll move it to the one of this point. Then I'm going to draw a vertical line this way. You can see that? I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing here too. To another line this way. Right? And I'll close it up too. From this point. Draw another line this way. Then to the top also. Draw another line this way. So this is what I brought out. Now, this method I'm using here is called ordinate method of construction of what? Of a circle in isometric. And if you want to know about the video, you can just click on this link at the top right corner here to show you a video at which you can learn your ordinate method of construction of what? Of a circle in an isometric. Now, the next thing you do is that you take your compass, right, and you place it at this end here, taking it to this end here, right, and you gauge. Ensure that you gauge them properly to this point here, right, sorry, from here to here. So I'm taking them. So what we have, and I'll come to this other point also. I'll do the same thing from this point to this point here. I see that. Can you see that? And after I've done that, the next thing is I need a point on this line to get the other arc to complete this arc. What will I do? I will just take my 
rule right from this point from this end point here or this one of them i'll draw a line to meet this i'll also draw a line from here to meet this i see what i'm doing now when i've done that faint line then where the line intersects this diagonal line the longest diagonal i will now place my compass on that point and gauge my compass to this two end here right i'll get to that two end there and i'm having this you can see that and i'll do the same thing i'll place it here too i'll get it to this point so you gauge the like the line and i'm having this you can see that so everything you see the circle the box are all thick lines but you see this line they are all what construction lines so this is how to construct a given shape that is drawn at the right hand side of the screen so don't forget to also dimension your figure because it attracts more marks so if you have found this video helpful Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.